Welcome to the Scouting Expedition Podcast, courtesy of the Cascade Pacific Council of Scouting America. This is more than just a podcast, it's an adventure cast. Here we'll share stories and insights about the lifelong adventure, real world grit, and personal growth only found through scouting here in the Cascade Pacific Council. We'll have guests here indoors, but also head outdoors to meet those that make the scouting expedition come to life for thousands of local youth here in Northwest Oregon and Southwest Washington. Each episode will start with the latest news, reminders, and important deadlines for our families, scouts, leaders, and volunteers, so you can just take a quick listen or watch in a way that's convenient for you. Then we'll dive into the topic of the day. So let's get started. Hello, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us for today's Scouting Expedition podcast here, courtesy of the Cascade Pacific Council of Scouting America. And my name is Chris Bartell, and I am the Director of Marketing and Innovation here at the Cascade Pacific Council. And so we're going to dive into today's topic here, which is September National Preparedness Month. I am super excited about this. We have a unit program quick start guide here that we're going to talk about and a whole variety of things that you get to do for September to invite new new youth to join scouts, new families to join scouts. We're going to get into that in just a moment. But of course, first, as we always do, we want to start with a safety moment and then we're going to dive into the news and then we'll get back to the topic of the day. But today's safety moment is has it has been for the past couple of weeks just a huge reminder to get your med forms updated. I just did this myself uh, for our high adventure trip and our summer camp adventures. So super excited about that. So make sure you do this. Uh, just a reminder to get this done ASAP and reminder that if you're doing anything over 72 hours, you need to have all the parts A, B and C filled out for you and your scout and uh, by your doctor. So make sure you do that. You can find the latest and greatest version of this at scouting.org. All right, let's dive into the headline news for today. First of all, just want to remind folks that we have a couple of updates here for the new brand of Scouting America. We have some new URLs and web addresses and things like that, and some just slightly tweaked modifications of our social media profiles. And so you'll see those basically they're all at CPC Scouting. So and there's also, of course, cpcscouting.org is the new URL for the CPC website, but the old URLs will work and redirect to the new web, uh, web URL and things of that nature. So you don't have to worry too much about that, but just sort of an FYI that this is happening. We are also producing new materials as we speak, kind of continually as, as needed as well. So officially, the brand doesn't really have to be finalized and rolled out until February when we're going to actually celebrate the new brand in full on a national scale. Uh, but you'll just start seeing all of the Scouting America branding uh, rolling out as needed. Another news item for you today, we want to let you know that we would love to have your nominations for adult leaders for the National Jamboree Contingent Chair. Nominations are going to be due June 30th, and so we're looking for just fantastic scouters who want to go to Jambo or Jamboree and, uh, and really help out the planning and really lead the charge here. So place your nominations as soon as possible. Jamboree will be in July 22nd through 31st of 2026, and it is an incredible adventure, so we'd love to have some great leaders involved. Next up, I want to remind you about climbing days happening on an ongoing basis from our awesome climbing committee. There are indoor and outdoor opportunities really monthly, and uh, it is safe and fun. It's just a fantastic way for you to, uh, to just add climbing to your adventures, uh, to your scout unit adventures, and they'll teach you and train you and all of that. Just fantastic opportunities. Again, all the links for all these things that we're mentioning here in the newscast are uh, in your Compass Points email newsletter that it has gone out on Sunday. We also want to let you know about the Camp Cooper insect study that is happening. It's a beacon of biodiversity there at Camp Cooper, and we have done studies on plants and birds, and now, as I've mentioned before, we're going to do a study about bugs. So it's going to be really fun. You can contact Ranger Aaron Yoder for information on that. We also want to remind folks, speaking of camp properties, is that you families, you scouting families can go camping at Camp Clark right there on the Meriwether Clark Scout Reservation where we have two and a half miles of coastline all to ourselves. It is absolutely fantastic and beautiful. There are tide pools and oh my gosh, you can have a, a campfire there on the beach and this opportunity for families is open now through Labor Day, so check that out. 
Some summer camp news we want to remind you about is that you just remember that if you're planning to go to summer camp, you need to make sure, and you're an adult, you need to make sure that you are registered and you have done your youth protection training and you have an approved background check. And this, this may take uh, more than a week. It could even take up to 30 days for the background check. So you really need to make sure you do this ahead of time for any adults planning to go to summer camp. Just please get this taken care of or even just doing an overnight outing with your scouts. Uh, it's, it's good to do no matter what. Uh, there is an exception there for, for Cub Scout adults uh, who are doing some overnights. But for the most part, just please everybody uh, do this. It's really important and uh, the youth protection training is, is really awesome and, and just important for everybody to, um, to know how that all works and, uh, and how we can keep everyone safe. Also want to let you know from a summer camp perspective, the pre-camp webinars are now available. You'll see the links there on the website. Uh, so check those out. There's, uh, there's actually webinars, breakout sessions for every single summer camp opportunity this year, including Base Camp, Weeblos Base Camp, and Butte Creek, and of course, Merriweather and Baldwin and Pioneer. Really fantastic, and we're just so grateful to our camp directors for, for doing that. Some training events we want to let you know about is this opportunity here for International Scouting and Women in Scouting happening at Philmont Training Center is occurring on June 16th through 22nd of this summer. And we have some awesome news that our um, recently uh, retired, if you will, board chair, Kayleen Deathridge, who is now going to be on the national board, uh, she is teaching the Women in Scouting uh, piece of this, and our international scouting is being taught by June Takei, who is also here involved in the CPC. So really excited to have them lead the charge there at Philmont. Another training opportunity here is the Wilderness First Aid course that is happening June 22nd and 23rd in Beaver Creek. And this is for youth and adults age 14 and up. What a fantastic opportunity to learn Wilderness First Aid. And they will actually modify and tweak this based on your needs for your upcoming scouting adventures. So it is awesome, a fantastic training. It's 200 bucks, but worth every single Penny and your training card is a bit, is actually good for two years and meets all of the uh, the uh, BSA requirements there or Scouting America requirements. We also have another fantastic wilderness survival clinic taught by Brett Stoffel of Emergency Response International. This is a wonderful, wonderful seminar and clinic that he will be teaching August third through fourth in Beaver Creek as well. The cost is 125 bucks per person and it includes one of his, sur uh, his survival kits and they are fantastic. I've taken a bit of his training and it is, you will, your eyes will be opened. That is for sure. And you will feel so much better prepared. We also want to let the youth know that National Youth Leadership Training is happening for scouts ages 13 and up. Boy, these course courses are filling up fast. There are th there were three of them and only two available. And the second one from July 7th through 12th is almost full. Uh, so you're going to want to get in that. And the uh, there is still course three is open uh, August 11th through 16th this summer. And they're all happening at Camp Baldwin. If you have scouts that have never done this before and they're of age, uh, boy, it is a wonderful, wonderful training. There's actually some great videos on the website there at uh, cpcscouting.org slash NYLT if you want to just show your scouts what it's all about. It is, it is wonderful. They'll also build some great relationships and they will have a great, great time. A couple of community service opportunities we want you to know about is the Tiger Dip Festival of Balloons is happening once again. And we have been doing this. We did this last year. It was so, so much fun. It's happening June 21st and 22nd. We'd love some volunteers for this. And we'll be doing rain gutter regatta and giveaways and just having an absolute fun. We like to say that we are the ones bringing the fun to the to the Tiger Festival of Balloons, besides, of course, the balloons and the carnival. Uh, but when it comes to kids activities that are free for all the kids showing up there, it is an awesome opportunity to promote your scout unit and just for us to bring the fun and share the awesomeness of Scouting America. We also have an opportunity to uh, support the CPC Horse Program at the St. Paul Rodeo. We're needing volunteers July 2nd through 6th, and it's for ushering and ticketing and shoveling <clears throat> shoveling stuff. And so we would love to have you and your scouts come out and help with this. Uh, every uh, hour that is worked by scouts earns $15 donated to Butte Creek Scout Ranch and the horse program. So just a fun opportunity uh, to, to help out there. Some partner events we want you to know about as well is if you love baseball, by golly, come out for the game of baseball in the Mavericks League. Uh, there, there are two opportunities. I just can't help myself by doing it that way. I don't know why. But anyway, um, it is happening June 21st and August night. Two opportunities there for scout nights at Salem-Kaiser Stadium. 
uh, for the Mavericks League. And also, Portland Timbers Scout Night is happening on August 24th, and tickets are now available for that for Scout Night. going to be super awesome, and they're going to be promoting our Preparedness Month, which I'm going to talk about here momentarily. So, let's do that, shall we? The, today's topic is all about National Preparedness Month. For those of you who don't know, and most people don't seem to know, that September is National Preparedness Month. And by with the um, with all the emergency management folks out there, they really want our help promoting this. And so what we're actually going to do is we are creating a theme and a strategy around Preparedness Month. And what that includes here, it includes programming and, and a lot of opportunities for you to promote your scout unit. And so we're going to share some of the details here. We've got it mostly dialed out and uh, things will change a little bit here and there, but I want to give you the overview and the plan so that you all can do this with your scout unit. So let's dive into it, shall we? Just as an overview, what we've built here for September National Preparedness Month, which of course probably should be run by the Scouting America Scouts, because that's what we do, right? So I'm super excited about this. Um, we have, are going to have op plug and play open house program and recruiting activities. We have a way to help neighbors get prepared. And we also have a unit and scout fundraiser. So let's dive into that. What we're going to talk about today in this guide that is also available uh, on the website, and I'll share the URL here momentarily, but what you're going to find in this guide that we have created is why we're doing it, uh, the purpose and vision for it, the campaign timeline, the first aid kit fundraising details, and the themed open house nights, a how-to guide for all of those, and some awesome campaign tools that I'm going to share with you today. First of all, really, why are we doing this? Well, it does make sense that National Preparedness Month, we should, we scouts should be the boots on the ground for this, don't you think? So really, it's a couple of things. The purpose is to easily invite new friends and families into scouting, of course, when we typically do a lot of recruiting and invite friends and families into scouts. Uh, it's really an opportunity for neighbors to become more prepared and our friends and families. And it's also to support scout units to raise money for their great adventures and to grow in grit and to promote the new Scouting American name. We really want to get the name out there and, and make sure everyone feels welcome. The vision for this is to really start a national preparedness movement. We're, as far as I know, we're the only council doing this and, and we will be sharing this with other councils too because uh, we'd love for this to become a national movement. And we really want to get to the point where we're really partnering with like-minded organizations, whether it's national, state, local, county, city, all of that, because it turns out that it's very, very important on a county by county basis that uh, that each county has its specific prepared uh, preparedness, awareness options, and things like that, that, that they just want folks to really understand. So that's what we're really thinking here is that this becomes something that grows and blossoms every single year. Just to share our timeline for this, what we have is by June 30th, this is the deadline to order first aid kits from our partner Lifeline. Lifeline is in Lake Oswego. They have actually created custom branded first aid kits. And this is all an experiment. This is our first year doing this. So, so we are just, uh, we're really excited about it. And it is a bit different. It is not to take the place of popcorn. You can still do popcorn. The only rule is that you can't actually sell both at retail together because that's our agreement with the, uh, the folks at Trails End for popcorn. Um, and the difference here is that you do, as a scout unit or family, do have to actually purchase these at wholesale price. We'll get into this in a minute. You'll have to purchase them at wholesale price so that you can sell them at retail. But So there's a bit different from a standpoint of a fundraiser, but we think it's such a great opportunity even to try this out and see how this goes. And, and we'll hone and streamline it uh, throughout the next few years as we do this. So July 1st, uh, you can actually, you'll be able to order promotional materials produced by the council. I'm going to share those with you today or most of them today, and I'm really excited about those. In August, the first aid kits will be available for you to pick up from Lifeline in Lake Oswego. And so let's say you order 100 kits, they'll have 100 kits. And we actually have two versions of the kits we're going to share with you here momentarily. Uh, the promotional materials will also be available for pickup by the units uh, at the CBC Service Center. Again, I'll share those with you. On August 24th, super excited that the Portland Timbers Scout Night, they're actually going to do a PA announcement about being prepared and National Preparedness Month. We're really excited about that and being scout prepared. In September, as I mentioned, is National Preparedness Month. And so what, what the plan here and the hope is that scout units will plan or use this plan for the second, third, and fourth 
uh, the weeks of September because, you know, the first week of September, it's like school has started and it's also Labor Day weekend and and it's a shortened week. So that week gives you the opportunity to kind of make sure, OK, we've got all of everything we need to, to make this happen. And then what we're hoping is that it, you can use this as an opportunity for a door to door sales for first aid kits and and to friends and family and coworkers and whatnot. So that's uh, that's really what September is all about. Now, I know you're really wondering about the fund fundraising part of it for the first aid kits because this is a little bit different. So so we really appreciate everybody just being patient about this uh, as we learn and go here. But we just think it's such a great opportunity. And so we're just testing this out. And, and I'm excited that we have been able to work with a local partner, as you can see on the slide deck here, if you're watching, is that we have custom branded kits and it's really, really exciting. Um, but basically how this is going to work is that families and scout units will purchase at wholesale prices again by June 30th. They will get receive the custom branded kits uh, actually in August. They're actually going to spend the month of July custom branding them. Um, and you can determine kind of what you want to do from a sales strategy standpoint. We actually have a pitch that you'll have here in a moment, an actual script and whatnot. So you could decide as a scout, as a scout family or a scout unit, if you want to do a door to door activity. And there's actually kind of an incentive to do so here in a moment. Or if you just want to send, uh, sell them to friends and family or coworkers or whatnot. Uh, families and units can then pick up the kits in August for the September sales. We will be providing the council, we'll be providing a sales sheet and a tracking tool and a script for scouts and a fantastic door hanger to promote scouting and uh, and being prepared. So it's really, really fun. And just a reminder that, as I mentioned before, that the kits cannot be sold at retail alongside popcorn because we just don't want to ruin our relationship there with Trails End and, and disrupt that. So that's the only rule. You can do it at other locations, but if a lot of Scouts BSA units really don't sell popcorn. So this was really an opportunity we thought that that especially for Scouts BSA units to to have a, a really nice fundraiser that of course fits the brand. What are we selling? We have an opportunity to sell two first aid kits here. One is an 85 piece hard shell office slash car kit. Really, really nice. The other one is a 107 piece soft shell, more of a family camping kit. Now these are actually the same size kind of kit, but they just have more materials. The camping one has some survival gear in it and things like that. The first piece, the hard shell kit, is going to cost you or your scout units $13 a piece. And then the suggested retail price that we ask everybody to sell them at is $20. So your profit is $7 a kit. Pretty neat deal. Sell 10 kits and make 70 bucks. So the other one is actually a more expensive kit because it has some other goodies in it. And it's really a nice family camping kit that can be just tossed in with, the, with your camping gear. And it is, you actually purchase them at $19.50. The MSRP for that, the suggested retail price is $30. And your unit and scout uh, actually profit $10.50 per kit. Then we actually have a sales pitch. I'm going to actually, I'll read it to you just for fun because it actually is pretty simple. And and I find that that for the older scouts, what an opportunity to practice your, your salesmanship merit badge or just practice having confidence and what we recommend here, the pro tip, of course, is to use the buddy system here. I have one scout can make the pitch and the other one can actually hold on to the to the kits because you'll have the kits in your hands. Um, and so they can actually and then they can rotate. So that's actually the pro tip here. And so what they would say is, hi, I'm Chris Bartell from Troop 107 of Scouting America. Did you know it's National Preparedness Month? The scout motto is be prepared. And I'm here to help our neighbors be prepared like a scout. So here's a card that has more info about how you can be prepared like me. And the scout actually hands them the door hanger, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. Also, do you have a personal first aid kit in your car and, and office or a family camping first aid kit? Oh, well, if not, I you can actually be prepared like me and help me grow in scouting by purchasing one of our Scouting America first aid kits. And then, of course, they can show the first aid kits. The car and office kit is only $20 and has a nice protective shell. And the $30 family kit is perfect for your home or for your next outdoor adventure. And if somebody says no thanks, they, of course, say thank you and enjoy the information on the door hanger. And, uh, and they, or of course, if they want to purchase, fantastic. So there's the sales pitch we'll have for the scouts. And as for the door hanger, here's what it looks like. It promotes National Preparedness Month and being scout prepared. We actually will have a website at scoutprepared.org where they will go and they'll have a really localized information. And the real reason for this is A, to promote, you know, to help neighbors uh, around you be prepared and to promote the new Scouting America brand and 
um, and have a way to, you know, give give every neighbor something or any any friend or family member that you're you're pitching, so to speak. Uh, you can actually give them one of these too. And the reason that we don't have um, uh, QR codes and whatnot actually on this card, other than the one for the website, is because it, as I mentioned earlier, is that the counties have very specific preparedness um, plans that they put in place. So the website itself will be more uh, county by county and hyper localized in terms of content and material. So that's what that's for. All right, let's dive into the open house nights here. What we have here is we're calling it a quick start guide and hopefully it's easy. The, the web page that you'll see here also will have the details. So we'll have little printable uh, user friendly details with all of this information on it. How it's going to work is basically you're going to be able to place orders for these postcards and stickers and all of this uh, by July 31st. I'm going to show you that here momentarily. You'll also be able to order necessary activity materials. We will also, um, we're also asking units just to plan the third week adventure. So what we have here is two plug and play unit plans. And then your week three is all about sharing the goodness of being prepared. And what you would do is you could go on a little hike, you could go geocaching, you could go on a stroll around the neighborhood, and, and we'll have share this with you on how this actually works. Um, but really the objective is, is you could also even have a first responder have a, a, a visit your scout unit. That would be fantastic as well. So that's all you really have to do is kind of plan an outing or a visit on week three. And then, of course, you're just going to invite friends. The scouts can invite friends uh, on back to school nights or one on one. And then number five here is that units and friends will have absolute fun at three open house nights. So that's the objective is, man, if we could get if we could get friends and potential scouts to come to three really fun unit uh, meetings that have a fun program, we believe that we've got them hooked and uh, and just so they can get a taste of the fun and adventure and the friendship that they'll they'll have in scouting. And then by golly, of course, they will join, won't they? So that'll be really, really fun. Okay, we're going to dive in here into more detail here for the Cub Scout Open House Nights. This is how this is going to work. Week one, uh, and again, we have a plan for this. We have actually, a, we'll have a printable plan on and all the details on this, but week one is you're going to play a six essentials game. You're going to play, you can play a, a 911 skit and game, and then the scouts can build a first aid kit. And what you're going to see on our webpage is actually links to purchase all the materials for your first aid kits if you don't have them. We found really inexpensive, inexpensive options at Amazon so that you can decide how many kits you might want to build and materials you'll need piece by piece. And uh, we even have a little little bags for them, little first aid bags. And it's really, really great. And it's just a few bucks a piece to do this. Week two is you're going to show how to use everything in the first aid kit. What a concept. No First aid kit's no good unless you know how to use it. And then you're going to teach folks how to build a family first aid kit. And then week three of the Cub Scout outings, the pack or the pack open house night is you'll talk about six essentials. So it's about the first aid kit and then talking about being prepared with six essentials. And you could have your first responder visit um, or have an outing. And that's that's basically the week, the three weeks of the pack plan here. What do the scouts, the prospective scouts and families who visit receive? Well, of course, they'll get their first first aid kit from your awesome pack. They will get an I'm Scout Prepared sticker that for those of you watching can see here. They'll get a six essentials card. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, you can see it here. And they'll also get a pocket plan and activity book and these are from the Department of Emergency Preparedness folks and FEMA as well. And of course, they get a fun outing and new friends and get to meet your awesome pack. Isn't that great? I, I, hopefully you like this as much as I'm excited about sharing it with you. Plus, of course, there's going to be a patch. So every scout who joins, they will actually get a new, a new scout gets a prepared for life patch that actually can be worn in the position patch area on a uniform if they're not, if the scout doesn't have a position, obviously they wouldn't if they're brand new. And the recruiting scout gets a recruiter patch, kind of, it's another version of the other recruiter patch that you've probably seen, but this can be worn on the left sleeve as well. So hope you like that. And uh, we'll have the logistics all dialed out for how that all works uh, once uh, scouts join. So that'll be great. Now, for the older scout unit, scouts BSA, exploring, venturing, and sea scouts, we have plug and play options for you too. So it's similar um, in terms of how it plays out, but here is the plan. And of course, with 
whether it's Cub Scout pack plans or the troop plans, you can modify and tweak it. We just are trying to make it super easy for you to, to plug and play and, and have a really some fun uh, adventures here in your scout unit um, uh, meeting. So the first week, which of course actually means the second week of September because the first week is Labor Day week. So uh, the week one of this program is you'll talk about the edge method. You'll then, the scouts will then teach the new prospective scouts how to build a personal first aid kit and they will play some relay games, super, super fun. Week two will be uh, real life first aid situations and more relay games. And then a teaser about 10 essentials. Plus you'll learn the new 10 essentials camp song which I'm going to sing for you momentarily. Uh, the t then you'll have week three. The goal here is for the new scouts and your scouts to bring their 10 essentials and go on an adventure. And it's all about being prepared, right? So this is just such a fun opportunity to do a gear check and you could even have little prizes if you wanted or whatnot. Even if you're just going geocaching or a little walk around the neighborhood, the goal here is to do a 10 essentials gear check, make sure everybody has it. And so the scouts receive a custom, obviously the custom first aid kit from your scout unit and I'm scout prepared sticker, the 10 essentials card, which actually is a song courtesy of my amazing scouts. Actually, the, my scouts at Troop 107 uh, created this song and it is sung to the tune of my favorite things. Pocket knife, ring gear, and trail food, and flashlight, clothing, first aid kit, and sunscreen, and compass, shelter, and fire starter, water bottle, and string. This is a list of our essential things. When the bugs bite, when the sun burns, when I cut my hand, I simply remember I brought all these things, and then I don't feel so bad. Okay, I couldn't help it. I'm a ham, and uh, that's the song so proud of my scouts uh, and who may, who created this. And yes, it's not exactly tw 10 exact essentials. We actually tweaked it a little bit. We added string, which is paracord and, and actually rhymes with things. So we needed something there because paracord is also important. You'll also notice that shelter is in it. Instead of matches or fire starter, we actually added shelter. And that is courtesy of Brett Stoffel's wilderness first aid class that, that I got to take. And he highly recommends, recommends that as being one of the top things that you take in terms of being prepared. So you'll actually receive these little cards here and, uh, and all the, all these goodies that you'll actually be able to give away to the new scouts and practice the song and all of that. Everyone here at the office is sick and tired of me singing it, but you know what? It works because guess what? I remember to bring all my 10 essentials because of this song now. So it's pretty great. Okay, so of course the new scouts and the recruiting scouts get patches just like with the Cub Scouts, so that's very, very fun. Uh, we might have a couple of tweaks on these a little bit, but, uh, but they're basically uh, similar patches. They say prepared for life and they can be worn on the left sleeve if a scout doesn't have a position, so that's really, really fun. Okay, now we're going to talk a bit about the campaign tools that you will receive we are designing new postcards for those scout units have, who have actually ordered postcards from us in the past. We have new ones we're building out and getting printed and whatnot. And as you know, for those who have ordered these before is you'll be able to customize them or we can customize them for you. So uh, just so you know, you'll basically order as many as you want here and we can customize it with your, your open house night information, your upcoming calendar. These are wonderful little handouts for scouts and uh, whether it's Cub Scouts or older scout units there. Um, some little invitation cards, so there's that. Uh, we also will have images and posts and videos for your social media. I'm building these out, they'll be coming in July so you can start posting things about this. And also for those who actually are going to sign up for this, who are going to register to, whether it's selling first aid kits or just interested in ordering some of these materials. Again, these materials are free, so you order them. Uh, we will actually do ads boosted and posted specifically for your scout unit. So how we do this is we actually are able to zip code by zip code target parents of kids in our age categories with our content. So we really wanted to promote units that are promoting this program because why not? It's National Preparedness Month and we're scouts and it's all about being prepared, right? So what a great opportunity. So the other thing uh, we're going to have here is I've mentioned actually some of the stickers, the essentials checklist. We're also going to have some, this family plan actually comes, it's called Two Weeks Ready. It's a wonderful plan that actually came from the Oregon Emergency Preparedness folks. Washington has one as well. This one's just a really nice pocket planner 
for families. They can fill it out right there in your scout meeting if you want. A really great. There's also this really fun for Cub Scouts. Uh, maybe some older scouts might have fun with this too. But there's this Prepare with Pedro activity book from the Red Cross and from FEMA. And it is super fun. Lots of little cartoons and activities and really talks about all the various kinds of natural disasters and things. So it's a really a fantastic tool. We'll have all these little giveaways that you can you can uh, order and receive from us uh, for National Preparedness Month. Okay, where the heck do you find all this stuff? You're going to get details at cpcscouting.org slash prepared, or you can scan this QR code that you see, for those of you watching. Uh, you can actually go there there's a landing page there. It has all of the details. It has all of the plans. Um, and, you know, we would love feedback. If you want to send a feedback to podcast at cpcscouting.org or chris.bartell at b-a-r-t-e-l-l -L at scouting.org, I would love your feedback. We can totally tweak this and change some of the some of the activities. Or if you have ideas, that's great. Uh, I am all for it and all ears. So uh, this is fun. It's our first time doing this, and hopefully you know, this works out really great this this year. But if not, you know we're gonna we're gonna tweak it and modify it because uh, I do believe year over year this is an opportunity for us as scouts to own and help be the boots on the ground to help folks be prepared during National Preparedness Month. And I hope you feel that way too. Anyway, again, you can go to cpcscouting.org slash prepared and to get all the details there, you'll be able to download things and you'll be able to obviously order your materials as, as we get through that. And, um, and that's, that's real fine, everything. Well, thanks so much for joining us, everybody. I really, really appreciate you being here and listening to what, we, uh, what we've been talking about here for National Preparedness Month. I am super, super excited about this, obviously, uh, and, uh, and sharing this opportunity with the world. And hopefully you are too. Please share this with your other parents and scouts and scouters. It is, it's a, hopefully a really great opportunity that you'll enjoy as well. And again, send you can send feedback to chris c h r i s dot bartell b a r t e l l at scouting dot org if you have feedback thoughts concerns anything you want i know this is a bit different uh, hopefully it's really fun for us uh, for for you i'm excited about it i think it's going to be fun for my scouts as well so uh, so anyway toss me an email there or at podcast at cpc scouting dot org thanks so much for joining us today and have yourself a fantastic week thanks so much bye bye